loves it's him <laughs> her <laughs> this is nice don't be jealous of my hair i i don't have time to do my hair before i do this video because otherwise i'm not gonna be able to get a film video if i blow dry my hair it's all about priorities here you know what i mean today i'm gonna do my friday favorites and fudgeroos and first of all that's like my new catchphrase i just want to say thank you so much for all of the congratulations on the baby, for just all of your sweet comments and messages and tweets and everything. And I want you guys to know, normally I try to really, really catch up on my Facebook and like reply to, you know, people, but I got so many because obviously we announced that we're having a baby. And so literally like my Facebook page just blew up. And so I'm not able to to reply to everybody and I really feel bad because I want people to know that like I, we really appreciate all the wishes um, so I, I just wanted to kind of like let you guys know before if you have written you know a message or a comment or whatever um, don't think that I'm like just ignoring you it's just that it literally I got so many and I just I don't have the time to write back to everybody but I want you to know that I really appreciate the messages and the comments and everything like that thank you very very much that was really sweet Oh my god, this chair is so irritating. So that's my number one favorite. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna show you, this is the, I, I don't have the lid. I think maybe I lost the lid somewhere in the, I don't know, I don't know. But it's the Mary Kay Two-Toned Eye Pencil and it's be Bedazzled by Bronze, that's what it says. Um, and it's basically, one side is brown and then one side is gold. And it's basically just, on eyeliner and I have been wearing I've worn it a few times this week and those are the colors but they're so creamy and I was honestly expecting it to be a bit kind of like dry and not go on very nicely and then I, I was doing a gold look the other day and I thought oh, I'll try because I don't have any other golds and it was so creamy and it's so pretty and it's just like oh it's it's such a nice color so I'm really impressed with that so good old you Mary Kay I also used this this week which is the e.l.f. cream blush and it comes in a little jar like this. I think the packaging is quite nice. It is a bit bulky to store but that's okay. The color that I have is Tease and it's just a really pretty kind of peachy coral. Sorry, my battery died. Um, good thing we have a spare. So it's a really pretty peachy coral and it's just, um, it's a matte. It's not like, it doesn't have any shimmer or anything to it. It's kind of like a moussey texture but it it, I was actually kind of, I was again surprised by this. I was thinking, oh, it's not going to blend very nicely. And it was a really beautiful color and it blended out really, really nicely. It wasn't too like, whoa, peach face. It was just a really nice, I mean, they're so affordable. I think they're maybe less than $5 or something at Target. Um, next thing, and this is the lip, um, lick, 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 lip buxom from Bare Essentials. And it's just this really pretty corally color. I wore it with, um, I just had in sync lip liner from MAC under it and then just this over. I had to go out yesterday and I was in a major rush and so I was like, oh, I just want something quick. The only problem with this is that it does make your lips feel really, really cold um, because it is a plumping lip gloss. It doesn't tingle though, so don't worry like if it's, if you're thinking, oh, nutsicles, my lips are going to burn. It doesn't. Um, I'll just swatch the color. So it's quite kind of sheer. It looks a lot brighter than it is. It comes out like a nice kind of sheer coralish pink. But it, so if it's cold outside, don't wear it because my lips were freezing. But it's so beautiful on, it fills in all of the cracks and it looks really, really pretty all day. So I really like that. Like, and it smells yummy too, like ice cream or something like that. You know, I got this and I've had it for, again, a long time. And I never really wear Naked very much. And this week I have worn it quite a few times. I don't know why I didn't, because I really, really like it. It's the MAC lip liner from, the MAC lip liner from Naked. It's the Naked lip liner from MAC. It's basically just a nude, a nude matte skin type color. And I really, really like it. It's just, it's great for blending out your lip liner, for making it a little bit softer, for making your lips look a little bit bigger, or if you're just wearing a nude lip. I am wearing it today, and I just really, really like it. So, yay for rediscoveries or something. I love this. Oh my gosh. I only have two NARS eyeshadows 
and both of them I just think they're so amazing and I never really kind of knew what the big deal was um, but they're so pigmented they're way more pigmented than MAC if you like literally all you need is a little doink with your brush and it's like whoa baby um, I'm wearing this color today and this is just a little tiny one it does have a little mirror the color is California and you can see it's this beautiful kind of copper and it does have shimmer to it um, I'm wearing it kind of up above in my crease, but oh my gosh, this color, seriously, it is like delightful. Look at that. So shimmery, so pigmented. It's, I mean, they're just a dream to apply. They blend out amazingly. I definitely think they're well worth the money. I never got it before, but I, w I definitely... I'm gonna pick up some more eventually one day. I love that color and it's great for blue eyes. I was wearing it the other day and my eyes looked so blue and I was just like, oh my God, whew, this is like amazing. So yes, absolutely love that color. It's so pretty. And I, did I say it was California? California, that's what it's called. What else do we have in here? I've been wearing this a few times this week. It's the MAC Cream Color Base in Pearl. And it's basically just a cream highlighter. It's really, really beautiful. It's just a nice kind of it's got that golden undertone. Um, they're really easy to blend. They don't break me out, which is always nice. They just give a really beautiful dewy glow. And they're just, I, I just really love them. Next, doo -doo -doo -doo, is my Scentsy Watermelon Patch. Holy crud moly. I've really been wanting to like make the house smell a little bit more, you know, like summer. I tried the Watermelon Patch and you can see I've only got four cubes left now. Um, this is the Bring Back My Bar, so I don't know if this is a limited edition. I'm assuming it is, but what a beautiful, oh my God, oh my God, I just wanna eat it. It smells exactly like watermelon bubble gum. I put it in our bathroom Scentsy, and I put it in my cupcake Scentsy in this room. And the bathroom, I always keep that door closed. We keep all the doors closed. So I figured, okay, it is just gonna stay in that room and you're gonna open the bathroom and it's gonna be like, woof. Well, it was. I mean, after you know a half an hour, the whole bathroom smelled amazing. But then after a couple of hours of it burning, the whole hallway, like as soon as you came like into the house, you could smell watermelon. So this is a really strong scent. I love it. It smells so good. Um, it's just, it smells exactly like watermelon bubble gum. It's so yummy. So I really love that one. And I'm sad it's bringing back my bar because I really don't think you can get it. But if you can find it, cool beans, try Evie or something, you know? I just put this on today and I just forgot. Like, I forgot how good it was, you know? It's the Bedhead Cyber Optics Eyeshadow. This color is natural. Come on. And they've actually repackaged um, TG. They have all new packaging, which I think is really cute. It's like white. Um, but this is just a really beautiful... It's very shimmery. It's very, very pigmented. That's the color right there. And um, I will get this closer at the end so you guys can see it all. But I have it on my lower lid. And it's just a beautiful shimmery kind of goldish tan. But they're so pigmented. And I always forget. And then I'll be like, oh, I'll grab that. And I'm like, wow, this is so nice. They just go on so nicely. Yay for that. I think I've got two randoms. And then I've got one fudgeroo. Yes. So for my randoms... Uh, this is the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Nourishing Body Oil, and this is what I use when I'm pregnant. Uh, you can actually use it, whether you're pregnant or not, as a moisturizer. First of all, it smells so yummy. It smells just like lemons. It's amazing. It smells so good. It's very moisturizing. It feels good. I wouldn't say it absorbs into the skin and you can't feel it. it you can feel oil. So if you don't like that feeling, you're not going to like it. But I like to make sure that I put it on my belly. Um, this is what I used when I was pregnant with Mr. Phoenix. And I do have a few stretch marks, so I can't say, oh my god, it's amazing. It doesn't give you any stretch marks at all. Uh, honestly, I think stretch marks, you're kind of going to get them or you're not. They're more kind of genetics, I think anyway. But it's always good to like help keep that area because it does get tight and it does get itchy as you get pregnant, as you get pregnant, as you, you know, get further along in your pregnancy. I think it did help as far as, you know, just keeping it nice and... and moisturized and so that they're not, I mean, my, my stretch marks are so light, you can barely see them. But I put it all over my belly, all over my thighs, and all over my lower back and my booty so that everything is just nice and like, woo, delightful, you know? It, it just feels really good on your skin. You can always, you always need a little bit of moisturization there. You know, down on your tummy area when you're pricky, 
I have a hair on the end of my nose. I used to be able to get it at Target when I was pregnant with Mr. Phoenix. It was all over the place. Now, I haven't seen it at Target. I can't find it anywhere. So I got mine from dermstore.com, which is like my new favorite store because they have a lot of different products, but they're a little bit cheaper um, and they're free shipping. I don't know if it's free shipping all the time, but I ordered Jay's chapsticks from there too and it was free shipping as well. So I was really excited. I think it's really nice that they do free shipping. So this, I got... I got, um, I think I ordered five of them, yeah, and they were $7.99 each, and then it was free shipping, and they got here super duper quickly, I was really impressed with how fast they shipped it out, they send you, you know, a confirmation, then you get a receipt in the box, and they wrote a cute little note, thank you so much for ordering, you're awesome, or something, and I was like, oh, I feel so special, and the same thing with his chapsticks, it was free shipping, they were like a couple bucks cheaper than, um, ordering from the actual like brand and they got here super quick so I will put the link in the down bar because I just am really impressed with that and no they weren't sent to me I bought them myself so it's not like they're gonna give me something they're not okay and then for my last random I've been absolutely loving snacking on these and I make these little baggies at the beginning of the week I cut up all our veggies so that Jay can take them to work and then I can just have them in the fridge because I find that if I, it's quite hard to kind of, you know, prepare things like every day when you have a baby. So to save time, I will get all of the stuff ready and then I'll put them in little baggies and keep them in the fridge in our little snack drawer. So that they're right there, they're easy. I do it with strawberries and blueberries just so that it's like you can quickly grab it and it's like, woo, you know, I'm running around and I'm hungry. And it's a nice little healthy snack. So inside of it, I put up, I put up, I cut up yellow bell, or is that orange? Yellow bell peppers, orange bell peppers, red bell peppers, cucumbers. I get the mini cucumbers and they're like the mini English cucumbers or something because the skin isn't so thick. And I feel like sometimes that those, those other cucumbers, they taste like poison to me. Um, so these ones have a really thin skin so it doesn't get stuck in your throat because the other skin gets stuck in my throat because you guys know I'm weird and I get things stuck in my throat and then baby organic carrots. So I just love this. It's such a yummy snack. It's healthy. You're getting your little veggies in and it's a nice variety. Sorry, my camera like stopped. <laughs> I don't know what it did. Uh, anyway, what was I saying before I was rudely interrupted by you camera? Oh, um, yeah, rather than just having a bag of carrots because, you know, it does get quite, quite boring when you're just like, oh, it's just carrot after carrot after carrot nice to switch it up have a little bit of everything you know so this is a really fun snack idea and you know if you do have kids it'd be a great little thing to take them to school they could dip it in a ranch or whatever they like good way to get your veggies in and it's so just just get all your you know get a few bell peppers get your cucumbers get your carrots and then just divvy them up you know cut them all up do it at the beginning of the week and then you're set for the whole week and you don't have to worry oh my god I've got to chop a bell pepper today you know because that does a lot of work sometimes. You gotta get all the seeds out and things. So yes, really love that. My fudgeroo, and I only have one. This has been really great. The last few weeks I've really haven't been doing too badly on fudgeroos, you know? I've been getting or using products that I like. Um, I did speak about this another time. <laughs> I'm having some major issues with my camera right now. I don't know what's going on. So I don't know where I got cut off or what. So I'm hoping it didn't cut me off too soon. Um, onto my fudgeroo. I spoke about this in another fudgeroo and I told you guys I was going to let you guys know once I tried it out again if that was in fact still a fudgeroo. And it is. And I still really love it. But I'll tell you why. Okay, it's the Fusion. I wore it in my video I think yesterday. Um, Goddess. And it's the cream bronzer. Oh, whoops, it's on a screen. That's what it looks like. And it's basically just a cream bronzer and it's beautiful and it blends really nicely. It's got a, a tiny little bit of a shimmer, a tiny weeny bit, nothing crazy, but it looks really nice on the skin. It blends out very easily. It, it's just a really nice color. It's great if you're fair, but once again, I put it on and literally the very next morning, doing, 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 tiny little bumps under my skin. Everywhere that I put it, I had just tiny little like bumps like little whiteheads or something um, and I haven't had that for a really long time so it's got to be that because like literally as soon as I you know the next day I was like dang 
Bumpy Wumpy Crunch. My hair is looking real beautiful. I know you guys want a tutorial on this. This part is really difficult to get. You just have to be amazing for that. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it's my fudgy roo. So I, I think I'm going to stop using this because, oh, fudge, I don't want to get those little bumps. So I'm really upset because it really is beautiful and it gives you this beautiful, like my sister came over and she was like, oh, you look so tan today. And I was like, oh, thank you. It was this. And it, but she didn't say like, you look like a orange freak nuts. She said I look so tan. So it was really, like it's very natural, but um, you know, whatever. Oh, I forgot one of my favorites. Fudge, sorry. One more favorite. This is the, I don't know how to say this right, okay? I'm not good like with languages, so you guys, I apologize. It's the, oh, I'm so sorry if I say this wrong. By Matt K. That's, here, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. Do you see what that says? by Matt K, but it has little wiggles, you know, little what's it called above, so I don't know how you say that. Um, anyway, this is a little lip balm. Oh, I'll show you my hand while I'm zoomed in. Those are all the colors. Look at that eyeshadow. Oh, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. It's just a lip balm. I'm going to zoom in on myself now. It's so yummy, and I've been using it uh, for about a week now. Um, it's just from, however you say that word, by Matt K .com. Um, it's, I think it's a, it's made in France, but it's got kind of a Vietnamese inspiration uh, as far as like their wellness traditions or something. It smells similar to Blistex, but a more kind of herbal, natural version. Yeah. It's just a very much softer uh, smell, but it's just really nice. The nice thing about it is that, you know, because I have a lot of other lip balms that are very, very glossy, and so you can't really put something over them as far as like another lipstick or another lip gloss because they don't really stick. This is nice because I, like I've been using it at night and then you can also use it as like something under, like because my lips are quite dry and then you put a lip liner on and it looks all crummy and cracky, you know? So I put this on and it's kind of like, it's just a moisturizer la layer rather than whoa, glossy. So then you can put another lipstick or another lip gloss over and it's not gonna slip off. And then it's nice at nighttime because you're not going to get like, whoa, lip gloss, like super shiny gunky where your hair sticks to it and you're stuck to your pillowcase and things. So I really, really like this because of the fact that it just kind of goes into your lips. It feel, And it stayed forever. I put it on before I went to bed the first night. I think I went to bed at like 9 o'clock. No, I think I put it on at like 8.30 before I went to bed. And then at 3 o'clock, I woke up to go pee and my lips were still really, really moisturized. So, and I noticed it just really does help as far as moisturization. Plus, I think the packaging is really cute with the little, like, you know, little tree and things. So I really, really like that. That's a really nice chapstick. Uh, so now I'm finished. So I hope that you guys, I'm wearing my leopard sweater, woohoo. I'm hoping I'll have time to do pictures of an outfit of the day on my blog. And I will have um, what I'm wearing as far as my makeup on my blog as well for pictures and a list of what I'm... Um... Oh, I chipped my nails today. Nuts. Oh. I'm so unorganized. I'll talk about that next week. My nail polish. I really love the color, but I'll tell you guys next week. Because I'm sure this is like already a million hours long. Yes, I'll try to have pictures and a list of what I'm wearing on my blog, which is samshimmer.com. I'm hoping I will be able to either have a chance to film my makeup collection today, but my makeup storage will be up tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and let's, what, what shall we name this little fellow? I think we'll name him Henry. Henry says, have a nice weekend. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, and then I'll see you guys on Tuesday.